Okay, so I am apologizing. The sound on this video is absolutely horrible. It was a super windy day, uh, wind advisory uh, in you know the Tulsa Metro area, and the mic that I had just was not cutting it. So, like, bear with me on the sound. Like, if you watch the video, you know you're gonna see some great houses, you're gonna see Bixby, but it is really, I mean, the audio is horrible, and I apologize. Uh, I just recorded the new Bixby video today. I have a better mic, and it's different houses because you know it's a different time of year. Um, just a couple months later. Uh, but just keep that in mind and it's still super windy today there's another wind advisory today Oklahoma um, I didn't realize it till I started you know recording outside so much but Oklahoma is super windy uh, but the the audio is better in the one so if you watch this Bixby one and you're interested in Bixby you know watch the next one I'll be doing more Bixby videos because there's just so much new construction there um, and there's you know there's so much to highlight so if you can bear with this video just do so, and again, I apologize in advance for the audio. Whoa, okay guys, there is a huge wind advisory today, and I ordered one of those little cut-down things off of Amazon it's supposed to help with the wind. In Oklahoma, it's windy. We have like a high wind advisory today. So if this video just turns out horribly with the sound, I'll redo it, and I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, anyway, if you're thinking about moving to the Tulsa area or the surrounding suburbs, we are going to do what we always do, and we are going to check out some houses in Bixby, Oklahoma. Now, Bixby is south of Tulsa. It's one of the best cities in Oklahoma, one of the best suburbs of Tulsa. Super, super great town. And usually we look at three houses at three different price points, but there are two houses in one neighborhood that are right next door to each other at different price points, but I'm going to point them up both out. So, we're going to check out four houses today. We are at Harmony Bridge right here in Big City, which is such a such a nice little area. We renovated this bridge. It's got like you can put the um, the love walks on the bridge. There's different parts for you to do that. A lot of people just love to walk it. It's part of River Trails. It's part of the River Walk. So super great place to walk and enjoy. Uh, we're very close, you know, right down Memorial. I just finished my workout at Lifetime Fitness, um, which is just a few minutes down the street. You know, you've got Starbucks, you've got Dutch Brothers, uh, Panera. Uh, on this side of me um, in the, is downtown Bixby, and I'm telling you, if you want the best burger, then go to Scott's uh, Burger Place. It is so, so good. Like, the best burger ever. Uh, but yeah, so if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or the surrounding suburbs, then subscribe. Tap that little bell notification so you can be the first to know what's going on in the Tulsa market. I'm afraid it's not getting to be real me. And my team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who can help making a move in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here, 
behind me in front of the clubhouse, you can see, um, if you can see that little house, it looks like, kind of like a big birdhouse. It's actually for books. So, you know, people go and put books in there and if they want to trade them out for the kids, uh, they can, you know, they can switch out books. So it's a little, you know, book library um, that people just take books and put in books and just, we're gonna go through the neighborhood and you can see, and these houses were, you know, these are gonna be older houses, not new construction. There is some part of the neighborhood that has newer construction homes in it. Um, the part that we're gonna be looking through is that, you know, it's a little bit older. They were built, you know, in the 2005, 2008, 2012s, um, you know, in that era. Uh, but really great neighborhood. Um, you don't have like big, huge trees, but you've got some mature trees. So let's, uh, we're gonna go in front of our first house and take a look. Okay, here we are in Providence Hills, and this is a super great neighborhood. It's got three stock ponds, which are catch and release. You can't actually like take the fish and go cook them and eat them. Uh, but the kids have so much fun fishing. There's two splash pads. There's um, a community building where you can have your parties. You can, you know, you can have a birthday party you, for the kids. You can, you know, schedule an event there. And then there's the neighborhood pool. Uh, there's walking trails, tons of sidewalks. Like this is just a really great neighborhood. Uh, my sister lives in this neighborhood, and one of the funnest time, and they love it. Uh, they actually bought a house and moved right across the street because they didn't want to leave the neighborhood. Uh, they just needed a bigger, they needed more space, and they needed a bigger house. Uh, so just a super great neighborhood at Halloween. Um, this neighborhood is packed, and I'm telling you, everyone um, just goes all out. You've got some houses, you know, that they're going to have the wine for the adults or, you know, the beverages, the games, or some people that are playing the big screen movie. You know, but it's a super great place. Okay, so here is the house that we are showcasing. It's 435000 It's 3,586 square feet, which puts it at $121 per square foot. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath, three-car garage, granite, uh, in the kitchen, new paint, new carpet. So it's had, you know, it's had a lot done, uh, lots of space. And that's where, you know, when you're not buying new construction, you can just get so, you know, you can get so much more house for your money. And even if you have to update some things, um, you know, it can be worth it. So this is a great neighborhood. You've got a house just across, you know, just down the street over one street. They've got a house with an in-ground pool. Uh, I think it was like around 3,000 square feet for 475,000. So this is, like I said, it's a great neighborhood. Um, we're at Bixby West Elementary. All the houses are Bixby West that, uh, that I'm showing you today, like I said. Super, um, super good value great neighborhood. Let's uh, let's check it out. I want you to check out the, you know, the ponds and the parks and all that good stuff. Okay, here we are in Magnolia Heights. And Magnolia Heights is a newer neighborhood. This part of Bixby, as I said before, um, has just, you know, grown exponentially, especially since COVID. Uh, the new construction has just totally boomed here. So this neighborhood, uh, homes built, you know, um, starting end of 2020, 2021, 2022. Uh, so right now we're in front of an executive home. Uh, this one is $539,000. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Uh, puts it at 193 square foot. So executive actually has 13 homes for sale right now in this neighborhood. They're the main builder of, of this neighborhood. There's also, you know, Chris Wharton's in here, uh, Jay Davis, LaBella Homes is in here. Uh, but Executives is is a great builder. It's super energy efficient houses. Um, they've got great ratings. And you know, when you buy new construction, you are paying more per square foot. Uh, like I said, this is $193 a square foot, but uh, your insurance is gonna go way down and your utilities are gonna be lower because uh, they are so energy efficient and everything's new, so insurance isn't so high. So, you know, you can take those factors into effect and when you talk to a lender or if you're buying cash, um, you know, that's something to consider. Uh, we are on the... <laughs> it's windy! Uh, we... <laughs> Whoa. Like I said, we're on, um, you know, we're in the rural area. We're at 
177th in Yale. Uh, Magnolia Heights really is just 177th in Yale to about 179th in Yale. Uh, they're starting some more development back there, but all half acre lots, so you're not right on top of your neighbor. Uh, the homes are, you know, they're ranging in the 500,000s, and then we've got this Labella uh, home right next door that's 719,000. Uh, it's going to be a 4,000 square foot home, and it is uh, four bedrooms, three baths, and that puts it at $179 per square foot. And Labella is, their homes are always great. This one has two fireplaces, uh, really unique, good design. Uh, we're, we'll get in front of it here in a second. As you can see, you know, new construction neighborhoods, you have all the outhouses, uh, you know, for the construction workers. Uh, when, when you see us going around the neighborhood, you're gonna see a couple of septic tanks out. Uh, they're gonna be you know, not on city sewer here at Magnolia Heights. So you, you're on a septic tank, so they're gonna be installing the septic tanks. But here we go. Here is the Labella home at 719,000. So one of the higher priced homes in the neighborhood for sure, but there's still, you know, a lot of lots for sale and, um, you know, they're developing, I don't know if you can see, they're developing the back part out there. So I think we'll, you know, we'll be getting bigger houses, but you know, real, you know, mid-level neighborhood, uh, mid-level, upper mid-level neighborhood right here. You're still 30 minutes from Tulsa. Uh, it's not going to take you long. You're, you know, um, you're not too far from Memorial, probably like 10, 12 minutes, you know, from Memorial and uh, where I was at at Harmony Bridge. So, um, and we're really convenient to Highway 75 too. So you're kind of smack in the middle or if you want to, you know, get on Highway 75 and go into Tulsa or if you want to go through Memorial, you know, as long as you're not going uh, during, you know, um, like the rush hour traffic, you know, it's it's pretty good. So yeah, but this is this is a fantastic uh, new construction neighborhood, and we are gonna go see another. Um, we're gonna go see one higher priced home, Bixby. Uh, it does have higher priced homes in the Tulsa metro area. So even though 719 is you know on the high side, we're gonna go see you know a little bit higher because Bixby does have more uh, higher end homes than a lot of the suburbs do. All right, well, let's take a look around the neighborhood. Okay, well, here we are at our last stop of the day, and we are in Gray Oaks, which is another new construction neighborhood. Now, remember, I told you that Bixby um, in this area, and all the homes that we're looking at feed into Bixby West Elementary. Uh, there's four elementary schools in Bixby, and all these feed into Bixby West, but this area just um, burst when COVID happened and we have had so much new construction here and this is one of my favorite new construction neighborhoods it is just it's so amazing the houses are absolutely beautiful there's plenty of space between each house you've got the bigger nicer houses you know very luxury quality upgrades you've got they've left so many trees you've left they've got trees everywhere creeks here the neighborhood um, you know, at the front of it, there's, uh, well, to the side of it, there's a pasture that's got some cows, uh, which those owners say that they are not selling um, anytime soon because that would definitely, people would try to build on that, but those owners are keeping, keeping that land. But this is, here we are at our last and final house. And let me see, let me get, I want you to get a great shot of this beautiful home. Uh, it's $979,900. You've got five bedrooms, four and a half baths, a study, just amazing kitchen, amazing quality upgrades in space, 4,805 square feet, which puts it at $203 per square foot. So um, you're almost at that cool million, but it's a, you know, it's a beautiful house. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I am telling you, Bixby is a great place to live. Um, you know, if you're, you know, whether you're single or, you know, raising a family, um, there's, there's just a lot to offer. We're probably about, you know, we're 
about 10 minutes from the creek turn, or not the creek turnpike, we're about 10 minutes from Highway 75, um, which will get you anywhere. You're about 25 minutes from, you know, downtown Tulsa. You can get anywhere, you know, from this area in 25 minutes. You're close, you know, you've got Target, you've got Starbucks, you've got all kinds of amenities close to you. So if you are thinking about making a move to the Tulsa area or the surrounding suburbs and you want to go see a house in Tulsa or Bixby um, or any of the surrounding suburbs, then my team and I would love to help you make that seamless move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you.